Evening everybody. This is about as new as it gets of the Meccano sets available in this case on the high street and in some cases on the web of course. This is so new it's only been on the bench about three hours. It's available in some but not all Smith's toy shops and as you can see twelve ninety nine. It's the Meccano Engineering and Robotics Motorcycles 5 model set and it's uh, quite a smart looking set and uh, to quote the Meccano Zone Facebook page, one member on there, it's cool, all words that I affect. Uh, and that's a bit of a surprise to be honest because um, at the a Tangout where I had quite a few of the very latest then sets uh, and builds on display, uh, nobody really recoiled from the fact that it's got quite chunky plastic parts in some ways anyway. Uh, which was a bit of a surprise but uh, most of the plastic parts are well made, they are uh, of decent quality, with the exception of a few of the flip-flop parts, which you've heard of me mention before. So anyway, this one, it's the uh, latest incarnation of the five model set, uh, and nice to see that it's a bit cheap, it's usually about £15, this size of set. And uh, again, what is a surprise is, yet again, we're seeing the old-fashioned tear-off strip box, which I thought was starting to peter out, but obviously not. Of course, that does indicate, as regular viewers will probably know by now, it's a French set, and it is a very good strong box, at least when new. So, what have we got then in model terms? Well, in model terms then we have five bikes, hence the five models of course. We have the rather Harley Light Chopper main model, which is that one there. And we have slightly different styles, that's a different style of chopper. Something like a, a Scrambler. That one, oh, Street, something like a Triumph Street triple style bike maybe and this one here uh, good question in some ways it looks like a push bike a racer in other ways it looks like a calf racer but I'm thinking that's perhaps supposed to be a very early motorbike say from the 1920s early 1930s that one there who knows uh, I think the majority of the instructions for this one are available to download, uh, whereas some of the very latest ones, that isn't the case, as I found out, with the 10 model set uh, recently. So, that's the box, 8 plus years, 174 parts, and that's about it. For the outside, anyway, let's have a look at the inside, which, in the best tradition of Blue Peter, sort of, anyway, here's one we made earlier, with the strip already off. So let's open the box. I haven't looked in it myself, but I like to do that on camera as a bit of a surprise for everybody if you like. Well, it's a well packed box, isn't it? No doubt about that. I do like to see, said it time and time again, and I'll probably say it even more in the future. The boxes may not look massively impressive on the shelves, especially when there's only a few of them, which tends to be the case, to be honest, especially at Smith's or Smythe's if you prefer. But when you open it, look at that, rammed, lovely. Right, let's try and get some stuff out. Well, unless it falls out all by itself. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, yes, baggy bag. Wheels. Oh, they're nice. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at them in close-up in a bit. Preformed plastic um, bike wheels. Uh, I was expecting the ones like the um, Ducati. Uh, looking at that, some of the zinc looking a bit thin and a bit stained. Not as good as the last one, which, if I recall, was a Chinese set. Zinc always seems better on the Chinese. Multiple bagging, which is great, and I can see another new part there. That's that's a bit weird. That might be to do with... That might be a brake disc. I bet you didn't see that, but we're going to have a look at the parts. So we've got all sorts in there, anyway, from nuts and bolts, washers, spacers, tools, long bolts, black bolts, uh, tyres... Uh, the headlight off of the cat is in there. Uh, you can't see a lot, so we'll have a look at them. We'll open them up in a bit. Uh, another quite baggy bag, uh, to be honest, but there we are. Um, plastic strips, slotted strips with the holes in the one end. Again, the zinc's looking a bit poor. And that's it for the bags. We go to the instruction book. Let's uh, get rid of the box. I'll put it nice on the side, but you watch it fall off apart, or fall off, I should say. So, yet again, look, we've only got the stitching part way along, not all the way along like you get on the Chinese ones. 
the folding and the cutting looks yeah, fine. Uh, the image, yeah, looks pretty good. Slightly dull, perhaps, but no, not too bad. Tips and how to. The models in the full set, but the three on the left being the models in the instructions, and the other two to download just there. As is the norm, tips generally first, then followed by the what you got to build, and then the instructions. Now, of course, the best way to find out of any errors is to build something. Or, indeed, any good bits is to build something. So, let's have a quick look then. So, yeah, it looks like uh, the images on the parts inset list, the colours match pretty much the colours in the instructions themselves. And we've got white outlining uh, here and there, and pretty much almost everywhere, to be honest, including the parts inset list. Good example there. That's very good. That's looking very good indeed. And uh, again, clear, clear. You don't see all the sh all the frame in this case, not the chassis. The bike is a frame on a bike, of course. Um, looks like we've got a shock absorber as well. Ah, yes, we've got something. No, I tell a lie. It's a bit of tube. It's probably the exhaust. Uh, metal, of course, and plastic. Quite a compact construction. Uh, what's this one? That's how it finishes. Oh, we have got suspension by the looks of it, I think. Oh no, it's the stand. Sorry, it's the stand. Uh, most of it, yeah. Yeah, this one. This one here does look a bit uh, 1950s, 60s calf racer or early, very early motorbike, say 20s or 30s, looking at the style of engine it's got. And you can just see there, made up out of half inch pulleys by the looks of it. That's neat. Of course, it's nice to have. Uh, a bit of relevance to today, today's style of motorbikes, or whatever it may be. But it's also nice to have a bit of nostalgia, certainly. Ah, that's, that's nice. And there's the chopper at the, at the back. Let's find a good picture of the chopper. Where's the chopper? Where does it start? One moment, please, viewers. Aha, get in there. Ah, there's the chopper. So, on the whole, they're looking quite good. Look, good instructions. Parts, that's what we want to see. Let's have a look at the parts then. Um, hard to fold this one in its back without creasing it too much, but. Uh... Right. Looking down the first list, a lot of the parts we've already seen before fairly recently. That tube we've had before, I think, but not that long probably. The wheels, new, very new looking. Uh, the tyres, I'm guessing, are going to be somewhat akin to the ones on the Ducati, but we'll find out. We'll look down here. We've got uh, some metal strips, uh, narrow varieties, of course. Uh, nothing new down there. We'll come down here now. Look at this part here. We've got uh, this D292. Some sort of U shaped clip just there. I don't know what that is. This disc here. Thin, it looks metal to me through the bag. Maybe that's to replicate a brake disc. Great, all oh, the detail in there. Um, A737, is that them plastic nuts? Don't know what that is. Uh, we'll come down. We've got 11 washers, that's not bad for a, a modern set, that's pretty good. 30 nuts. Well, we've only got 15 standard bolts, but there's quite a few um, longer bolts. So. We've got a spring as well, compression spring. So we've got, uh, let's see, uh, we have, where are they gone? 30 nuts and um, where's the, uh, 15, they've only got 45 standard fixings in total. So, uh, well, it's about 399 for 100 volts, isn't it? So uh, we're only looking at probably a couple of quid for the standard fixings, the standard bolts and the, the nuts as well in total. It looks like there's four of those plastic ones there, so uh, push on clips. I don't know what those are, that's, that's a nylock nut. So uh, there's a few new parts by the looks of it. Right then folks, these are the new parts. All but one, I can tell you exactly what it is. The other one, I'm not quite sure. So, if you've got any ideas, let us know in the comments. Right then, we'll start with the one I haven't got a, much of a clue about, although I have found it in one of the instructions. It's... Uh, Grabbing an older screwdriver, mechano-wise, there we have this black, seems to be a spacer. 
but I'm not really quite sure exactly. Certainly it's used as a spacer here. Um, this is the first model in the set. Where are we? Just there. Used as a spacer between the two. And looking at it, I think that's all it is. In that situation there, I can't see that it's got anything threaded through it. Now, it does have, um, it's about twice as wide as a plastic, um, almost anyway, a plastic, two plastic large spacers. But you've got these cutaways as well and the cross, you see there. And it's sort of like an uh, open section there, that cross there. As though it's allowing access or something to clip in there, but I, I haven't got no idea what. Um, hopefully a belt will go through it. This side is more open. There and uh, I suppose another strip would probably go in there. I wonder if it's like a bearing. You put your narrow strips in. Where's a narrow strip when you need one? <laughs> I'll just put them all away, all my ones. Let's see, we've got one loose in the. Yeah, oh, we've got we've got something we can use. So we've got a narrow strip. Let's try that. No. I'll go in. So, your guess is as good as mine on that one. Uh, I'll have a look through the book and if I can come up with anything else, I'll let you know. Next up then, the brake disc. It is a brake disc, this is pretty obvious. Um, I think you may have already seen it, the eagle-eyed people out there. Uh, it, there we are, there's a picture. The front wheel of the chopper, the main model, and we've got a brake disc. And it's a fancy brake disc with some slight cutaways as well. <laughs> In the edge there, so nice. You want to get one though. But uh, yeah, nice bit of detail, I like a bit of detail. Wheels then, well, plastic of course, nicely done. Sort of Magalo wheels as it were. There, two of those. Look to be smaller though, they are smaller I think than the um, Ducati Monster set. And the tyres, great tyres, great tyres. Bit smaller than the Ducati ones, but the difference is these are solid. When was the last time we had a solid rubber tyre apart? What I think we have had we for a long time. Solid rubber tyre, solid rubber tyre. So nice, nice indeed. But that uh, is the new parts. But um, when I mentioned those nuts earlier, I didn't quite work out what they were. They are the nylon nuts. They're just a bit dark on the list. The brake disc. This this thing here. What? 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 I'll have a look through the book again and see if I can come up with something. Well folks, I found it again on the last build and all I can say is it's a spacer. Nothing else, but why would you have those cutaways in it? Uh, let's see, the nuts I suppose. So, come through, now the nuts on the outside. Belt goes straight through, the nuts on the outside. So, I don't really know why that has to be so, well dare I say it, intricate really. Uh, I suppose it'll all come out in the wash as they say when I build something. Uh, I'll have a look at the other models on the in internet and see what uh, see what that tells us, if anything else. But, uh, uh, so that's an odd one. So there you go folks, Twelve ninety nine. 99 yeah, it looks pretty reasonable to me. I say probably a couple of quid for your standard fixings, or thereabouts. Uh, so, not massive amount of standard bolts uh, nuts a bit better so you know it's still two quid out of your 12.99 so uh, not bad at all on the face of it and I'll get going on this one very quickly and maybe in a few days time you'll see one of the models bye for now